Hey there everyone, I'm Dust Bunny Avenger, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Slackers Undercover. If you like what you see, don't forget to slap that like button, bash that big old subscribe button, and tickle that little bell icon to make sure you never miss out on any of the awesome. Hello everyone, Dust Bunny Avenger here from Slackers Undercover, and welcome back to Rain Swept. Oh, detectives, it's good to be back. Now, as last time, war, and this is just fair warning that this game does contain, contain depictions, images, and story pertaining to murder, suicide, and trauma, which may be disturbing for some viewers. So if you're one of those cases, if you're one of those people that just doesn't want to deal with that, doesn't want to see it, you know, maybe just doesn't like the idea of it, it's okay. You can back out now. We understand. You know, hit me up later. I'll give you a synopsis of the game. If you want to do that, it's cool. But let's get back to oh that is not the, the that is not that is not my my transition switch here we go we're waking up day two actually you know what I was gonna do real quick just just throwing this out here I was going to real quick on this um, remove the ability for my uh, mouse to be seen somebody said last time that that was a little bit annoying and I'm like you know what I, I, I feel you on that. I feel you. We'll just get that out of here. <sighs> He's been awake all of ten seconds. He's already smoking a cigarette. Did you sleep with that thing, sir? That is a fire hazard. We probably should get dressed. All right. What are we wearing today? The classic? I dig the classic. I really do. The John? Hmm. That's more of a CSI style casual wear, you know, that's no detective, that's formal wear, <laughs> what'll be the men in black, stressed out, yeah, we might get there, I guess we could just go out there and sleep wear, but I, I dig the classic look, I like trench coats, can never pull off a trench coat myself, but darn it, it looks good, you probably should like, you know, oh, I was gonna say you should pee before you go, but yeah, no, can, can, can we urinate before we leave, sir, no? All right, never mind, we're going. Hello, detective. How are we feeling today? Um, all right. I thought we'd start the day off here, have a cup of coffee, but we're heading out into the scene. There's a man back there. I don't trust you, small town man. You said we should search the house for letters or diaries, right? All right, then, let's... Discuss the case. I, I need more coffee. I think I need more coffee. Would you like some? No, I'm good. Oh. Is... Excuse me? What? Oh. Oh! That's a beard! I thought that was his head of hair and that his neck was twisted around something fierce. <clears throat> He's just lying on the table staring at his cup of tea. I wonder what's wrong with him. Is he seeing ghosts too? Um, sir, are you okay? Obviously. Aren't you gonna drink your tea? I'm waiting for it to reach just the right temperature. I'll drink it then with my complete attention. I like staring at the cup and watching the steam rise while I wait. Uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? A cup of tea holds so many answers to life, to happiness. Does coffee hold any answers? Obviously. It's just a cup of hot beverage, isn't it? That's not the point. Well, then how does a cup of coffee hold answers to those questions? It's simple. If you can enjoy a cup of tea or coffee, as it were, the best possible experience in the universe, then you know happiness. If you can't, well, you won't truly appreciate the grandest experiences either, don't you agree? I think I kind of get it. Your words are rattling inside my head, at the very least. Well, then you got it. Thank you, weird spaceman. Uh, yeah, can I get whatever the hipster's having? Hello, detective. What do you need? Just a cup of coffee, Mark. Any progress with the case? 
Do you know who might have done it? I can't discuss all that with you, Mark. Oh, I, of course, I, I understand. Well, I hope you enjoy your time in Pineview, or, you know, despite the circumstances. That's really not a priority, but, but thanks. Um. Yeah, oh, got the coffee. I was about to say, it'd be weird if I left without the coffee. Let's uh, just go back down through the case. What have we got so far? Well, not much more than we had yesterday. We know that only recently they had planned to go for a vacation together. Did something change that? Let's visit the crime scene. Ready to go? Hold on, I need more coffee. No, we got it. Yeah, let's not waste any more time. All right, lead the way. She's way too peppy, but I, I feel like she's like the rookie on the team that's like super peppy about everything. Like, we got a murder, yeah! Okay. Uh, oh, Alan's back. Let's talk to him and see if he can tell us anything. What's up, detective? Hi, Alan. Officer Blunt. Can you tell me about yourself, Alan? How long you been here, that sort of thing? Sure. If you talked to my brother Mark already, you probably know I moved here about five years ago. I needed a change in my life, so I thought I'd give this place another shot. Turns out it's just as bloody boring as it was when I was ten. But hey, it got me out of a place I'd begin to hate even more, so it's an improvement, you know? And you get used to the pace eventually. Mark did me a big favor, gave me half of his cafe to start a business in. Guess he's not too pleased with the business I chose to run, though he's a good guy. Alan, where would you say you were on the night of the shootings? As I'm sure Mark must have told you already, I was at home. I wasn't feeling well, so I stayed home instead. Is there anyone who can confirm this? Apart from Mark, I don't know. Since I didn't leave home, no one saw me, you know? Wasn't your pub open that night, Alan? I'd hope it was. I left Lenny in charge. He helps me out sometimes. Lenny, can we talk to him? I'm afraid not. He left town later that night. Should be back soon, though. Let us know when he's back. We'd like to ask him some questions. Will do, officer. Chris and Diane, did you know them well? No, not at all. I'm the kind of person who minds his own business, though. I don't go interfering with people's affairs and their lives. What do you mean? I just don't go wasting my time getting to know people if there's no need for it. To me, it looked like they preferred to mind their own business as well. So no, I didn't know them at all. Okay, Mr. Allen, we'll talk later if required. Okay. Hmm, so he doesn't really know anything. You're getting old. Do you know Chris and Diane? Sir. Maybe not. So, got our piece from Allen. Anything new from Grandpa? I mean, we're here. Eh? Was it? Who are you? Um, the detective t investigating the... Oh, oh right, it's you. Why didn't you say so? Anyway, help me out here, Sonny. My lady across the street gives me no attention. What do you think I do? Uh... What? You think you're the only one with problems, eh? Help an old man out. Tell her you like her. Snicker. That's it! That's your advice! What do you think I do here all day? Look! Hey! Hey, Miss Brown! I think you're really pretty and I really like you. Oh, yeah, that's her. I wonder if I should buy a shop elsewhere. Central Street, maybe. See! It's no good! Ah, damn it. I'll never win her over like this. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. But if you ignore her, then, you know, she definitely will understand. Well, hey, you're not busy today. We can actually talk to you, right? Hello, ma'am. Hmm? Who is it? Ah, you're the detective, aren't you? Come to ask about the murders. Something troubles you, boy. What is it? What is it? What do you mean? I know a troubled soul when I see one, detective. But I understand you don't have the time for such questions. That's... that is good. Neither do I. 
Now, what is it? How long have you lived in Pineview, Miss Brown? I was born here. I barely stepped out outside Pineview all my life. I started this shop when I was about 25. Had to support myself once I lost my husband. Hmm. Do you live alone or do you have your family here with you? Johnny's the only family I've got. He's my grandson. Lost my husband in the war. I was about 25. You must have seen Johnny, right? Always running around taking photos with his camera. His parents left him in a tough situation by making some stupid decisions in their lives, so I take care of him now. He's a good boy. Spends most of his time helping his grandma around the shop. I'm getting older now, too. Willpower and mental strength can only get you so far, you know. Time catches up with you eventually. Not that I lack any mental strength. I've single-handedly taken care of a lot here. You really have, Miss Brown. I really look up to you. You're doing quite well for yourself, too, young lady. Yes. Where were you on the night of the shootings, Miss Brown? I went to bed around 9 p.m. Johnny could probably confirm that. He was home, too. What can you tell me about Chris and Diane, Miss Brown? Ah, uh, they were doomed from the start. What do you say that? I told you, I know a troubled soul when I see one. And those two. I've seen it so many times over the years, one can always tell. Others would tell you they're very much in love, but something wasn't right. I always knew that. And when these things really did start to go wrong, everyone heard about it. All right, we'll talk later, Miss Brown. Okay, Detective, take care now. Nice lady. Okay, we gotta explore some other parts of the map here, too, by the way. We're on... Are we on Main Street? Yes. So we gotta make over to Central, and then make it back over the crime scene, which is... So I guess we go down Overlook, and then right across to Central Street? Overlook is just down. Blah, 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 blah. So you play the other game I gave you? Nah. What? Scary as hell. You'll love it. I right, so I'm in the mood for something colorful. Seriously? Yep, you boys are interested. Mm-hmm. Run, smoker man. All right, here's Central Street. I guess we should have taken a car. But then we wouldn't have gotten to walk down Rick's video rental and the barber shop. Take you to the. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, wh who are you? Yo! My name's William. You're the detective investigating the case, right? Yeah, why do you ask? What's going on here? I think the local cops are trying to wrap this case up quickly. How do you know that? I've been listening, keeping a track. Honestly, as a resident of this town, hearing that doesn't make me feel safe at all. So since you're not from around here, I'm hoping you'll handle things differently. I can't really discuss that with you, William. I get it. I get it. Can you tell me, though... Where were you on the night of the shootings? Around midnight. Uh, right. I was at home drinking soda and playing video games around that time. Can anyone confirm this? My girlfriend, Claire, we live together. Have you always lived in Pine View? Oh no, I just moved here three months ago. Fresh start and all, you know. This town's is quality. It's been a short time, but I'm already quite familiar with it. The mist-covered hills, the small streets and markets, the slow pace of life. It's like the perfect place to escape from your demons of your past, you know? Hmm. Did you know Chris and Diane well? I didn't, no. But then I barely know anyone in Pineview since I've only been here for three months. I do sympathize with what's happened, though. It, if it is murder-suicide, I, I can't imagine what would have been uh, going through and just pushed them to it. It's really sad to even think about that. Have you noticed anything unusual lately, William? Not until the incident, no. The most unusual thing I can see is how the cops are handling this investigation. If it is murder and the killer is still about, then I gotta be on my guard for me and my girlfriend. Alright, we'll talk later, William. See ya! Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, if the town's getting into this about what's going on with the murder 
and that there may be something more and the cops are kind of wrapping up in a hurry or what I mean it's it's apparent at least to the people that's spooky I mean that's that's some uh dark times kind of stuff going down All right where are we actually headed so there's not much on Central Street going down Happy Valley would get us to uh Sheriff's Department I guess down Asthma Street technically so uh we got to go further left here I guess no Asthma Street is no? East Hills then? No. Was I supposed to take a car somewhere? I, I bet I was supposed to take a car somewhere. Maybe they kill each other at a portal. Okay, maybe this is one of the situations where I just need to keep heading left. There's no way to go down, 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 so if I just keep running left, maybe that'll kick me over there. There we go. Navigation's just a tiny bit tricky in this game. Oh, wait, we got here. Whoa, dude, sup? Heard you're investigating those totally crazy shootings. Yes, I am. Sick. Why, do you have any information that could help us? No, whoa, dude, uh, that's totally not my scene. It's way too sketchy for him. Yeah, too sketchy, dude. It's not rad at all. Exactly, not rad. Where were you on the night of the 6th of this month? Whoa, whoa, why the suspicious type questions, dude? Just answer, please. Man, I was at home, you know? Practicing some sick tricks. You were? That's sick. Hell yeah. Do you live by yourself? What's wrong, Chad? Why do you have to ask all these personal questions, dude? That's two right here in the middle of the streets in broad daylight. He lives with his mother. But he only gets his skating career... But only until he gets his skating career started. Yeah. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Chad. Hmm. Did you know Chris or Diane at all? No, dude, no way. Those two were totally weird. Most of us kept our distance. Weird how? They'd stay locked up in their home all day. Fighting or something. He hit her too. That's what we heard at least. No, dude, we just kept our distance. Skating's where it's at. We'll talk later. That's rad. Gotta love a skater occasionally. Okay, wait, Main Street? Oh, that takes us back to Main... Dang. Oh, that's not what I want. Takes us back to Main Street. Happy Wheel Valley. I mean, Happy Valley. Who are you? A murderer in this town? Sick. Can't break anybody's houses over here? Here we are. This must be the place. Yeah. They left that window open? Seriously. They're gonna get mice. What are we looking for? Anything that tells us about Chris and Diane. Nobody in this town seems to know much about them. Maybe their room can tell us more. On it, detective. Moisturizer, body butter, makeup items. That's me. You looking better today, detective? I am. Relatively. Did you sleep well last night? Uh, not a wink. Not a wink. Maybe you should see a doctor. Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. I'll be fine. Just trying to be honest. There's a diary here. It's, uh, empty. Damn it. Bunch of travel magazines. Look like they had a subscription. A book on journalism. A couple of fiction books. What's this? The Dreamer's Guide to the World? Looks like a self-improvement book about travel. Interesting. There's a handwritten note on the first page. 
To Diane, never give up on your dreams. Love, Chris. 10th January 1996. This must have been Di uh, this must have been Diane's bedside. That actually seems like a pretty nice uh, gesture for someone who supposedly beats his wife. I'm not saying you can't have both at the same time, but you know there usually is some sort of disconnect. It's a photograph of Chris and Diane. That's a nice painting. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, that's the church, isn't it? That's a bed. It's still unmade. It's locked. The key could be here somewhere. Detective, check this out. There's something interesting to stop on this bulletin board. It's a photo of Chris, Diane, and some other guy. Do you recognize the third guy, Officer Blunt? Don't think I've ever seen him. Must be from outside town. Hmm. That's a trash can. Wow, you're really good at this. Sorry, I can't help it sometimes. Financial calculations. Looks like they were planning something big. Or at least one of them was. More do-it-yourself journalism and travel books and a couple of novels. Let's see what we have here. A list of locations. Madagascar, Antarctica. Antarctica is misspelled. It's supposed to have another C. Ukraine? Four question mark. Five question mark. And below the list is a different handwriting. It says, half the world away. It's underlined twice. There's a shopping list. Some phone numbers. Pictures of animals. The ocean. I think they're pictures of Madagascar? Possible. Another list. What working projects to do. Bookcase for living room. Custom chair for Diane. Case for bedroom. This has been stuck through for some front lawn project. I'm guessing Chris was into woodworking. Oh, what's this? One, talk about issues. Convey patiently. Two, no sacrifices. Talk about it and discuss what needs work. Three, analyzing everything equals annoying. Code, it's happening. Shut up. Give space. Which one of them do you think wrote these? Probably Diane, and I'm only going to say that because she has the self-help book and do-it-yourself things in her your desk. I think it's Diane. No, I don't think so. Looks to me Chris was the organized one, the making lists and all. That woodworking one's definitely his, and the handwriting is the same. You're Okay, you're right, actually. Good catch, you're right. Okay, so... Gotta be a key somewhere around here, maybe right here. A globe, a boombox, nothing of interest here. Ooh, those are some nice tapes. So we gotta keep an, a lookout for a key. Maybe we can... Not here. Oh, maybe we can look, look down here. Still, no additional information. Gotta be a key. Do yourself journalism. I'm just gonna scan back through these. Maybe it'll give me a new option. Now that I've initiated the whole, it's locked. the key it was behind the painting great mm, behind the painting some uh, tricky tricky lick in there all right not a lot here there's a brochure for a travel agency a do-it-yourself woodworking book and a bunch of letters what do they say most of them seem to be 
from Diane to Chris. Oh wow, that's a lot of hearts. See if I can find anything useful among these. So I'll be writing these to keep in touch while we can't meet. I don't know how, but I'm glad that you changed my mind. Look at a life in a different way. We're really dumb together, but I kind of love that. Oh wait, this one looks different. That's a severe lack of hearts in this one. Kind of. It's from Chris to Brad. Looks like he forgot to send it. Or decided not to. Hey Brad, sorry for disappearing on you last week during your party. You see, after I walked out... Sunday, 11.40pm. December 31st, 1995. I can't believe you said that. I know, everyone was looking at me. I should have been there, man. Oh, hang on, I think Emily's calling me. That's alright, go on, I'll hang around outside. Or go around, socialize, meet new people, make new friends. Yeah, sounds amazing. <laughs> you do what you will, man, I'll see you in a bit. See you, Brad. Alright, now get away from humans for a while. He's not a detective, so you can't... He can run, though. Run, man. Excuse me. Sorry, coming through. Run. Ah, oh, this isn't so bad. Oh, hello? I didn't know anyone else was out here. Oh, I, uh... Holy sh... That's a ten. I can, uh, head back inside if you'd like. I don't feel like you need to because of me. It isn't that, it's just... You don't like the people that much? I'm not really a fan, no. I'm sure they won't take offense. It isn't that, it's just, uh, go on. The more I get to know them, the less I can stand them. Shit, I hope she didn't think that was directed at her. I suggest staying outside then. You're less likely to be ambushed. <sighs> or go back in. We don't want you to risk you getting to know me. Shit. Uh... Yeah. Beautiful evening, don't you think? Beautiful? Yeah, well, there's the... Stars... St fireflies? Let's go fireflies. What about the fireflies? What about them? Their color, the way they dance, aren't they beautiful? Damn it, abort the weird topic, Chris. Uh, who do you know here? Did you come alone? Don't ask a woman that. Chris, Jesus. Uh, alone, actually, though. I came to meet Emily. We share classes. Oh, that's nice. Brad's an old friend of mine. Emily's boyfriend? He's a really cool guy. I'm talking a lot. What do you do and stuff? And stuff? <laughs> I actually don't know. I just graduated last year. Journalism, of all things. And what was I thinking? Anyway, I'm planning on taking an exam so I can study abroad. And I have to do well and then look for a scholarship and then... Sorry, sorry, listen to me. Bradley on. Forget it. Honestly, it's alright. Go on. It's just, I'm not really attached to anything here. I'd rather just move. I have stupid dreams of being somewhere else. Anywhere else. What do you think you'll find when you get there? I guess I'll find myself somewhere else. That'd be a good start. My name's Diane, by the way. I'm Chris. Emily's got herself a nice place out here. Chris, stop talking! I can't wait to have a place of my own. Somewhere small, less modern. But it's still beautiful, right? Even the house is beautiful. Do you not think so? It's a house. Oh. You have me totally perplexed, by the way. I just can't understand your way of looking at things. You wouldn't be the first person to say that. I appreciate your fireflies appreciation. 
but they're just fireflies, you know? No, I totally get you. I'm just... I don't know. I'm, I, I guess I'm weird when it comes to these things. That's one way of putting it. I just... I try to see the beauty in everything. I'm an asshole. I'm a pretentious asshole. You should be an artist. Are you an artist? Or a writer, perhaps? Do you write books about how there is beauty in all things? <laughs> Go on. Poke fun. I'm being serious. What do you do? Ah, it's a long story, but I could just say I'm a businessman. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Thanks. There's a reason and a story for that, but maybe it's one for another time. Oh, another time? Smooth. It's interesting. What is? Meeting someone like you, here. He who sees beauty in the mundane things. Hell, I can look at some painting for about five minutes before I start thinking about lunch for my car. Art and paintings have nothing to do with it. It's more the little things, precious moments, loving life. I'm sorry, Chris. You lost me in precious moments. Seriously? It's all just a little bit too... Blah? Is there nothing I can do that can change your mind? Oh, hon, I would love to see you try. Okay, Diane, what's the time? What? The time, what is it? It's a, about 11.45, why? Alright, you're coming with me, I want to show you something. What? I don't even know you. Even better, we'll be back in 20 minutes. Come on, it's not far. Fine, but you're carrying my shoes. Hurry up. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I guess it looks nice. I don't get what's special, though. It's just buildings. Just all of this. I think there's beauty here if you try to look for it. For instance, I like how the trees that are closer to us are dark, but the ones further away are a different color. Or how you can't really see any stars close to the city skyline as the lights are so bright. But you can actually see them fill the sky if you look up. That's called light pollution. It's mundane, it's normal, but everything's so damn beautiful if you look at it that way. I think existence itself is reason enough to love life. <laughs> what rubbish. I don't think I can see things your way. Alright, I admit that I might have come off a bit corny, but this definitely won't. What? Don't you dare. It's 12 a.m., look. Uh, I didn't know there were UFOs in your part of the neighborhood. Happy New Year. Okay, that... I'll give you that one. December 31st. That's when they first met. Yes, that. Detective, are you okay? You look a little pale. Brad, we should try locating... Detective! He's having a, one of them head strokes. Dude, less smoking, more coffee. Oh, my head. Detective. Where? What? Michael, you you gotta tell me what's going on. I'm really worried. You really should see a doctor. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, officer. Are you serious? You collapsed. Again. You were out for at least five minutes. I was, uh, looking under the bed. I, uh, was looking under the bed for clues. Oh, and what'd you find? Uh-oh. Seriously, I don't know why you won't talk about it. Anyway, we'll sit here for a while. Any more of this and you're going straight to the doctor. Got it? Mm, yeah. Well, tell me something. 
What? I don't know. That's your life back home. How's it like? Work back there? How different is it from all of this? It's a completely different world. There's always something to work on. The station's always full of life and noise. I like that. It can get a bit crazy at times, but it's great if you can handle it. We're thinking about moving to a bigger station someday. I mean, the idea of handling bigger cases, being in the thick of it, it sounds exciting. It sounds like the kind of thing I'd like to do. I'm not sure I'd be able to handle it, though. Just this one case, it's affecting me emotionally. I think you're capable, officer. It's only been about a day, but I know you'd be able to more than just handle it. In fact, I think you do very well. Wow, you really think so? Absolutely. Thanks, detective, but I was worried about the people I'd leave behind here. My mother, she lives with me. I feel it would be selfish of me to just leave. There's so many other people here that, too, that depend on me. Hey, detective, feeling better yet? The small town air getting to you? You look really cheery, Ryan. You gotta see what I found. I'll get his coffee. Detective, you should sit. I'll be fine. Coffee, 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 coffee. Need more coffee. Mark! Standing tab, sir. Standing tab. Hello, Detective. You feel any better? Yeah, I'm alright. It's good that you came here. A cup of coffee will fix you up nicely. How many will it be? Three would see, Mark. Thanks. Say, do you know anyone called Brad by any chance? See him around with Chris and Diane, maybe? Possibly back when they first moved in? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't recall seeing them with anyone else, especially anyone from outside Pineview. Alright, anyway, thanks for the coffee, Mark. Take care, Detective. That looks great. Got the coffee, now I have to get back to the table before it gets old. Run with it. Mm. Yeah? Alright, so what did you want to show us? So the mill just came in, Chris and Diane's, and there's a couple of things that you might find interesting. There's bills, of course, nothing suspicious about those. Then we got two tickets, one way. Madagascar. Madagascar. Mad Madagascar, how'd you know? That's amazing. I, yeah, two tickets, one way to Madagascar. They were to leave this Sunday. That would be four days from now. We might want to call up the travel agency and ask about them. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. that. That is very useful. Thanks. Oh, no, no, that's not at all. Officer Blunt says this one here will make you particularly happy. Chris and Diane received an invitation for a wedding. Someone named Emily's getting married to a guy named Brad. Yep, there's also a phone number there. You think we should call him for a talk? I've given Brad a call. He says you should be able to make it here tomorrow. Perfect. The autopsy results will also be ready by tomorrow, so it looks like it'll be that'll be it for today. See you tomorrow, officer. Take care, detective. 12 cups of coffee later and 8 packs of cigarettes, the day's over. I wish I was in front of this light, so it looks more dramatic. Didn't finish our case, more information, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, is now the way to the hotel. Is it dark enough that I'm not going to find anybody out on the street? You never know, but I'm kind of certain there's not going to be anybody on the street today. Maybe a... Was this... Was that closed up before? Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Nobody out on the streets at all. I like the glow of the lights. It's pretty. Oh, there is someone here. Whoa, what's up, man? Did you play music? Or you just <laughs> walk around that guitar? Oh, detective! Maybe you could help me. How good are you with words? Um, 
actually. Perfect, I'm kind of stuck with the lyrics of this song. It goes, With a smile across my face I sigh, We're only here for the blink of an eye. Clouds float, blend with the sky, Drunken dreams. Drunken dreams leave me high and dry, Drunken dreams of you and I, Drunken dreams will never fly. Drunken dreams help me get by. I would say drunken dreams of you and I. Drunken dreams of you and I. That sounds perfect. It's simple, but it says what I like to like it to say. I don't even need to spend time fixing this. Maybe I'll ask for your help again. All right, now leave me be. I need to focus. Thanks, by the way. Um, what would you say where you were on the sixth of October? What? You're really asking me that? It's kind of what I'm in Pine View for, you know. It's kind of my thing. I was traveling. Oh, wait, I, I think I have proof right here. See these? My boarding pass from my, my last flight has a date and my na name and everything. Right, I'll be back if I need anything else. Of course, of course. Thanks for the help. Pardon me while I run the cigarette. <laughs> Emphysema's really kicking my butt. What up, lady? I'm just gonna stand here in the darkness and stare into the light. I'm bad. Hello, Mr. Stone. I hope your stay has been pleasant so far. I mean, as pleasant as it could possibly be, considering the horrible, tragic circumstances. The room in the hotel is really warm and cozy. Oh, you think so? I'm really happy to hear that. My husband and I, this is what we wanted to create. A warm, safe place to rest. Somewhere people can feel like they can let go of all their worries. Hmm. How long have you been in charge of this hotel, Miss Patterson? My husband built the hotel when we were in our 20s, so we've been here since, wow, about 30 years now. He's from Pineview. We, he met me when we were out traveling for work. Fell in love with this place and the way of life here, and I haven't regretted moving here ever since. If you don't mind me asking, where is your husband at the moment? Oh, my husband, he's bedridden, unfortunately. He had an accident a year back, and he can only move about. He can't move about by himself. He's still got the spirit, though, and he makes all the decisions regarding this place. All the execution and legwork remains mine, of course. I'm happy to do it. I love this hotel, and I love him. Did you know Chris and Diane? We did meet him a couple times. They seem like lovely people, the two of them. I don't know what the rumors are all about. Chris wanted to start a hotel here, too. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, he even met my husband once to talk about all that. We were happy to help him out. We know how difficult it can be to get started with something like that. You were worried about them competing with your hotel? Oh, no. It's been many years since all our mortgages and debts were paid off, and we've been comfortable since then. We get a couple of regular guests every so often, and that's enough for us to keep things running. Now, the hotel is just a hobby. We don't do it for the money. I'm sorry, Miss Patterson, but I must ask you, where were you around midnight on the day of the shootings? Oh, I was here, of course. This hotel can't run without me, you know. And, of course, there's dozens of people, staff, guests, that could confirm that. Midnight, though, I'd be in bed with my husband. All right, Miss Patterson, thank you for your time. No problem, Detective. Happy to be of help. That is a, that is a bright light. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Just that angelic look. Supernaturally, it's your heart out. Okay, anything on the far right side? I'm just looking. Any, any evidence? It, oh, that, that invisible wall. That's kind of angelic in a way. I was hoping we get to see the inside of the um, hotel, actually. I could really use a long, warm bath right now. Do it, my brother. Bath will set me straight. Maybe. My mind keeps wandering back to her. Why? Why can't I? The case. Think about the case. Brad. We'll meet him tomorrow. Wonder what he can tell us. Chris and Brad stayed together, I think. Ah! Is, is there no escape? Didn't work out for you, boss? That's better. 
can start my nightmares now. Sleep red and sleepwear. Ready to rock and roll. I open the door tonight. It's it's raining though. Still beautiful. Too cold to go outside now. Maybe later. I might try in the morning to go outside. Looks comfy. Only thing I got left? Alrighty. Hmm, should I go to sleep now? Yeah, go to sleep. Uh, no nightmares today, I hope. But probably, because it moves the story along. Oh, no. We're in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Gonna go get me some hose. No, 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 no. It can't be. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Can't be. Can't make that jump. Oh, no. Gotta go this way. Very clearly not that way. Maybe I need to just stand there. Oh no. I'm on a road to the rooftop. It's connected this time? It's connected this time. No! I'm dreaming. It's a dream. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Spam me to wake up. Again, Abigail. I thought I meant more than the world to you. Come with me. You know you should. I, I want to. I keep thinking about it. There's nothing left here for you in that world. I'll forgive you if you come. I just let go of all this. You'll be so much happier. is over the city once again. Uh, my head, it's so bright in here. Officer Blunt's be waiting in the cafe. I should go meet her. Pick up Fifi. Can't do anything on the outside? Alrighty. But Officer Blunt will have to wait till next time. Thank you everyone for watching. Thanks for hanging out. For more news and information on what's going on and what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw want to see more like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, share the video. Yeah, the story is slowly unfolding and we're seeing where things are going and the plot only thickens. It, it seems like the more we discuss, the more we talk to people, the less... The less crazy Chris and Diane actually seem to s be. In fact, it seems like Chris was trying to get his stuff together, you know? Not be the guy he was that, you know, people, maybe the rumors thought. Like, he was trying to be a better person, especially with his, with his um, wife, girlfriend? I, I don't remember who Diane, I think girlfriend. Um, and, yeah, it, it, I mean, even like the um, the hotel lady was like, hey, uh, it, it they seem like a pretty cool group of people. I don't know what the rumors are about. So, um, do I have a note page? I thought I did have a note page. Um, I maybe have a note page. There we go. To do. Okay, that's not really much of a to do list. I, I guess I go back. No. Okay, we'll, we'll figure out the buttons and stuff later. But yeah, um, guess we'll see where it goes. When we meet up with Brad later on, I'll talk to you guys later.
Take care, underground.